I'm glad that shit's over. I'm going to shit on the WBA every single chance I get. I'm not even lying. Teach me controversy here. Let me mute this. I'm teach me controversy with FightView360.com. Leo Santa Cruz should get a unanimous decision victory over Miguel Flores to be the new WBA 130-pound Super World Champion. Right? When it should be Andrew Contio. Like the WBA, like they're they're to me, in my opinion, they're 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 a scam. It's a scam. You know? I'm sorry, but I don't consider my bad. I had to um um stop the zone at the same time. So I'm sorry, I don't consider Brandon Figueroa a champion. Even though Leo Santa Cruz has that super title now. Basically, he just moved up to another division and kept his belt. Because Miguel Flores, looking at his last four fights, why does he have the chance to fight for the super title? Right? By the way, this card has been, you know, kind of crazy. Deontay Wilder's brother lost in an upset. Fourth round knockout. Luden Barthelemy got knocked out. Got up, but ref waved it off. Brendan Figueroa had a draw. And this shit. Let's listen in. Please subscribe. Very busy as well. Game effort by Miguel Flores, but just kind of outgunned him against that man, a superior world championship talent. So Leo Santa Cruz looking to go to 37 1 and 1. Let's go to the ring and Jimmy Lennon. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Tim Cheatham, scores the bout 115 to 112. Judges Glenn Feldman and Julie Letterman both score the bout 117 to 110. All three in favor of the winner. He is now a four-week division world champion and the new WBA super featherweight champion of the world. Terremoto Leo Santa Cruz. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, one judge had it 7 5. Right, but the other two had it right, 117 111. <laughs> I'm just okay. pointing out, Joe. Yeah. I'm just pointing out. Well, yeah, but, but you know, look, that's. It's, is that not is that not typical in boxing? You get that a lot. You get two scores that seem to be the right ones and one that's a little bit closer. Just how they interpret it. But I think the last two are the best with the okay. right scores. I yeah. hear you. Yeah. Heidi Let's Angel listen in. The champ now, Heidi. Thank you very much, Brian. Well, I hope you made some room at home for a little more hard work. Congratulations. I know how much this opportunity, this move up, meant to you. What is this moment like for you? I mean, the word to me, you know, thank you to all the fans for the support. This is for you guys. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have done this. But, you know, today, uh, there are no excuses, but I didn't feel myself today. I, I didn't perform like I wanted to, but I'm going to keep working in the gym, and I'm going to come back. And in 2020, I won the big fight. I won Gary Russell. I won Gervonta Davis in 2020. Why do you think you didn't feel yourself? Was it the move to 130? Was it being at this weight, or was there something else? Uh, there was something else, but I don't like putting excuses. I don't like putting excuses, but it was, I didn't feel myself today. But, you know, uh, I'm glad I got the victory. Miguel's a great fighter. He came and gave me a tough fight. Like I said, uh, the people that saw him know that he's not a pushover, that he came to fight, and that's what he proved. So, Miguel, congratulations, Miguel, for giving me a great fight. Well, you put on a great fight, too. In terms of this one, you know, you have to decide. The WBA will mandate whether you remain the featherweight champion or you stay at 130 pounds and stick with that belt that's around your shoulder. As the super featherweight champion, what do you want to do? I want to stick at 130. I want to stick at 130, but of course, we're going to improve. We're going to go to the gym and work what we didn't do in this fight, and we won the big fight in 2020. We won, like I said, I want Gary Russell or Javante Davis. Javante is obviously moving up. You would want Javante Davis to move back down to 130 pounds for that fight, I take it. Of course, if he's willing to move down, or I'll go up to 135 and fight him there, but you know, we got to get make that fight happen. You would go up to 135 and fight him? Yes, of course, I'll move up there. And I'll, I'll do make it. Make it five. Yes, make it five, and I'm going to show the world that I'm not scared of nobody. I like it. Congratulations on a great win. You join a, an amazing class of fighters, the fifth Mexican to win titles in four divisions. Brian, we'll send it back to you. Heidi, thank you. Leo Santa Cruz staying on.
Hey, you know they're talking about putting, if him and Tank do fight, they're talking about putting it on pay-per-view. Also, Gary Russell really, really wants to fight him, but I'm sure there's some money issues involved in that. Nonetheless, looking at the last two years of Leo Cena Cruz, he's got to give us something. You know, like the Abner Maris rematch, I'm sorry. It was just three years too late. They did that same bullshit with Lara versus Marta Rosie in two. Like, it was just too late. You know, Cole Frampton's over at top rank. He's going to be fighting at 132. Um, um, apparently, maybe Jamel Herring, if he wins his next fight, meaning Cole Frampton. I forgot who he's fighting. In a couple of weeks, McCleary, something like that. So he's fought in 2017 after Cole Frampton. Chris Avalos, Abner Maris, that was in 2018. One fight in 2018. Returned in February of um, 2019, this year, against Rafael Rivera. And then Miguel Flores on pay-per-view is the co-feature of Wild Delight. They're trying to get him that exposure. Yes, Leo has a large Mexican following. Yes, him and Tank Davis can do really good ratings. But pay-per-view, they're fucking crazy. Especially with the fact that Leo Santa Cruz, it, like, it's not him, the way he's being managed. It's like, yeah, we could get, get fights out of him every now and then. But, like, fans are not really feeling Leo Santa Cruz, like, hardcore, hardcores. Because they're like, oh, well, he ain't been doing nothing. You know? And looking at the 130-pound division, why won't the WBA, just like they didn't do when Tank Davis was there, why won't they order, like... None of this makes sense. Why won't they order Leo Santa Cruz versus Andrew Concio? And fuck Jojo Diaz, WBA gold. He's going to be fighting Tevin Foreman, supposedly. They're working on something. Miguel Burchell's up at 130, but he, listen, politics and all this old bullshit, man. I'm tired of it. With this belt shit is is and the thing is they be wondering like why ratings be like not what they expected pay per views by because look at the dumb shit they be doing like it's alienating hardcore fans and like when new fans come along they're like wait a minute he got this belt but I thought this Andrew Contio fighting on the Zoom was the champion like what like what none of it makes sense please subscribe and teach three controversy with fightview360.com.